Okay, we made it to South Carolina. At least it's not snowing. It's drizzling a little bit, but other than that, any bad day, it's supposed to get up in the 60s. I know it's a, the deeper south we get, the cheaper gas gets. Right now, it's like a dollar eighty-nine. I paid as much as two eighty-five in West Virginia. If you're wondering where a little man is, he's always wandering. Right there. Anyway, we're at the rest stop, but we made it. South Carolina. South Carolina. And this is something you don't see every day. He's ringing the bell. <laughs> Friendly as sheriff I've ever seen in my life. He's sitting there ringing the bell. And we're at Walmart. And he waves at everybody. He shakes hands with them. I just thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. The friendliest guy I've ever seen. That's what my dad's actually. Amber getting a trim job. <laughs> From a complete stranger, lady just stopped and giving Amber toe clipping. She really needed it real bad. Okay. It's a good girl. Very friendly here in South Carolina. It's a good girl. And we're getting a toe clipping. There you go. She's very bad to clip. A lot of oh, hard time clipping her. Yeah, they ain't been clipped in a long time. I really appreciate you doing this. Oh, I didn't have a day off watching some football today. No drive today. We'll sit back and kick back, enjoy. Watch a little bit of football there. A friendly lady just came by, and believe it or not, she groomed Amber, cut her toenails, did her feet. She owned her own grooming shop, and I don't know, she was a blessing. You know, she just drove by and stopped and wanted to look at the camper, and we talked, and finally, you know, she told me she was a groomer. I said, hey, I paid to groom my dog. She said, no, you don't have to pay me, but I'll groom it. And she cut all Amber's toenails and cleaned up all the hair around her paws, and did a real good job, but anyway, Amber said she's gonna get some sleep now because she's not real big on um, getting anything done to her. But little old little man, he just he's wide awake, but yep, just kind of like kick back watching football. And I guess small, I'm gonna go down to Cal Penn Revolutionary Battlefield and I'm gonna take Route 11 because they say it's a scenic route, it's got waterfalls and a lot of good views, so I figured I'd go check that out. Well, hopefully y'all can hear me over that generator, but I'm getting ready to head out for the day and we'll go down the street, take scenic route 11, we'll go by Cal Penn National Battlefield, and we'll go see if we can find a covered bridge, and then they have a waterfall down there. And then later on night, I guess we'll find a state park to camp in for the night, but it's a beautiful day, so I'll see it's only 9 o'clock in the morning, I guess it's about 55 degrees, but it's a, a beautiful day. Getting ready to enter Cal Penn's National Battlefield. I'm in South Carolina. A little history of the park because we barely study about the Civil War anymore, much lesser Revolutionary War, so this is the only second battleground I know of besides Yorktown. I've been to that before, too. It's hard to... I don't want to shoot into some, but that's a monument dedicated to the men that died here. I'm at the visitor center. They got a whole lot of a lot of good history in the visitor center. I went and checked it out the other day. They got a reproduction of a cannon. They got some pretty cool stuff. They got all the uniforms that they used to dress in and pictures of the battlefield and some pretty good stuff. I don't know how good y'all can see that because it's pretty dark in here, but. Ooh, how'd you like get cut up by one of them? Hmm. Anyway, pretty cool. Some pretty wild guns right there. Sabres too. They don't have to tell you what they grow here. There you go. 
pretty cool. I think the sign's real colorful. I believe they call this Chesney, South Carolina. I guess I'm going through the main part of town here, but. Not a whole lot of stuff, but. I guess it's, that's the town right there. You're talking about blinking or you miss the town. You definitely blink, you miss that town. Everybody knows who he is. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I found this little place on the edge of town here. Just thought it was pretty cool. And I guess y'all can figure it out. It's Christmas time. Christmas tree now. Is that cool or what? You don't see too often a covered bridge. I guess at one time you could drive across it, but I guess they don't let you do it that anymore. I guess that's a wishing well. I don't know. The bridge was built in 1909. It's the last covered bridge in the state of South Carolina. It's pretty nice, too. Got a real nice creek running under it. It's really pretty good. Got a little sitting area over there. Hawking area up top there, but anyway, I was hoping I could drive to it, but I guess not. So it is what it is. See the nails in the board. Those some good sized nails too. But anyway, you can see you can look through the cracks of the bridge and see the creek running under it. I guess that's a tin roof. That's pretty cool. Creek. Beaver Dam Creek running under the bridge. Hopefully that's a good shot of it. Y'all can see it, but I thought that was a pretty good shot. Pretty cool though, you know, being built in 1909, it's still standing. After you, you know, it's a little ways down off, once you go over top of 26, it's a little ways down in there, but pretty nice little park here. Um, point set bridge but anyway pretty cool looking ain't it there's my buddy Steven again down there in the very bottom it was built in 1820 and it went from Greenville to Asheville I guess that'd be Asheville North Carolina but pretty cool looking go down below and look at the creek at it that bridge way up there but anyway 1820 pretty cool bread that water's moving fast too but that's pretty the bridge and look at the speed of that water going down through there that is pretty cool pretty awesome pretty awesome i'm turning something around these little country back roads not real easy to do I just found out there's no camping in this park. It's all backpack hiking in. That's where I'm headed to now. Okay, once again, looks like I'm headed back into North Carolina. I believe that's what that sign says. And it looks like I'm back in the snow country again, but found out one thing you better do your research before you go driving to these state parks because the state parks i'm just leaving the caesar head it's all primitive camping uh, no rvs you gotta backpack in and so i messed up didn't do my research so anyway i'm headed to um a campground he recommended um Davidson on the river or something like that. But that's where I'm headed to now.